Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a quick look at this Rosewell Power Supply. This is from their Stallion series, and the one I have in hand is the 400 watt. So there is a quick uh, run through of the specifications, features, and some of the uh, power connectors. a look at the back and we've got a breakdown there we've got two 12 volt rails we've got one with 14 amps and one with 13 amps so I'll give an idea of what we got going on there max output of 385 watts so something to uh, notice there is a 400 watt power supply with a max output of 385. Okay, so in the box we've got a standard power cable. We've got a power supply manual here. And we've got the power supply itself. Yeah, I can, there we are. Okay, so we've got the 120 millimeter fan there. Kind of a uh, dark chrome type grill. It doesn't look like chrome chrome, but it looks like maybe a black chrome. We've got a decent looking black uh, case. So if the fan's pointed down in your case you will see this. If it's pointed up you will see that. That would definitely be my preference there. Back we've got the standard honeycomb grill and an on off switch and also a voltage selector. Okay now moving in to the connectors. Obviously you can tell this is a non-modular power supply so keep that in mind uh, when you have to hide or route cables got this funky kind of sleeving going on um, I can't decide if I like it or not it's not bad it's uh, different hmm yeah just never quite seen anything quite like this alright anyway we'll keep moving on we've got a 24 pin that's a little on the short side, so definitely keep that in mind. I would guess we have a foot there, so keep that in mind as well when, when uh, routing cables. And let's find our EPS connector here. And this is another one that is on the short side as well. Um, the 8 pin would go as long as the 24 pin, and the 4 pin would extend, you know, another six inches or so so keep that in mind as well too for routing cables uh, in you know I would guess this is going to be better suited for a top mounted case uh, that way there's not that far to travel uh, for these you know these cords unless it was a bottom mounted power supply in a case that was like a micro ATX case or something I think he might have enough room then but definitely a full size tower of course in a full size tower 400 watts might not suit you anyway so but just a few things to keep in mind and then these are the uh, oops, excuse me there is the six pin connector here if you need it then we have the SATA connectors there are four in total so we've got uh, you know two and two here and then the Molex, there is one off, and it has two Molex and a four-pin floppy connector. So, pretty simple power supply, but I think it would get the job done. I've had pretty good luck with Rosewill in the past. Um, I haven't had any fail on me yet, so that's always a good sign, and I do go through quite a few power supplies, as you might be able to tell in some of my other videos. Uh, but anyway... That wraps up my Rosewell Stallion Series 400 watt power supply unboxing and quick look. And as always, thank you for watching.